Hi there. Now in this video, just going to look at these two parts to this question where we're given this equation then for the population P of primroses at time t years. And we're asked in the first part to calculate the number of primroses at the start of the study. And so at the start of the study, t is going to be equal to zero. So we just need to just substitute t equals zero into there. So for part A then, let's put it up here, let's say that when t equals zero, what we've got is therefore p is going to equal 800. And then e to the power zero is going to be one. So we've just got the 800 then. And then in the denominator, we're just going to have 1 plus 3. So 800 divided by 4 gives us 200. OK, so nice and easy one, that one. Now, as we move on to part B, what we've got to do is find the exact value of t when p equals 250 and give our answer in the form a times the natural log of b. So... We just need to say then at this for this one when p equals 250 substituted in rearrange the equation and see if we can solve for t. So we're therefore going to get 250 equals 800 times e to the power 0.1 t and that's divided then by 1 plus 3 e to the power 0.1t. So what I'd want to do next is multiply through by this denominator here to both sides, 1 plus 3e to the power 0.1t. And if you do that, you're therefore going to have 250 times 1, which is 250, and then 250 times 3 is 750, and that would be times e to the power 0.1t. And that's going to leave you with 800 e to the power 0.1t. And I can see then that if I take away this term from both sides, I'm therefore going to have 250 equals 50 e to the power 0.1t. And so I can then let's say divide through now both sides by 50, 250 divided by 50 is 5, so I'm left with e to the power 0.1t equals 5. And now I've got to use natural logs here, I'm going to take the natural log to both sides, so if I take the natural log of this side, it's just going to be 0.1t. So we get 0.1t equals the natural log of 5. And 0.1 is 1 tenth, so therefore if I times both sides by 10, I get that t would be equal to 10 times the natural log of 5. I'll put that in brackets so that it looks exactly the same as the form that we've got to uh, put it in. a and b have got to be integers, a would be 10 and b would be 5. Okay.